everybody this is Pam one of the kindred vegans and um, we still can't get together so I um, thought I would do some cooking today and bring you along um, normally V would be here and it really isn't as much fun without her um, cooking with a friend and talking is just so much more fun but anyway I am making my bolognese sauce today which is vegan and oil free and my kids love it and so I'm gonna show you how I make mine um, everybody has their own recipe, but this is mine. First of all, I have in my stock pot here, I have two onions chopped, and I have, let me see, five carrots chopped up, diced up, and then I also have um, three celery spears. So two onions, five carrots, three celery spears. And that's what I'm gonna get cooking first. To do that, I'm gonna put it on the heat, and add some vegetable broth. Now I have a cup of vegetable broth here. I may use it all or I may not. I'm going to get it cooking. I put in about three quarters of a cup. I don't want this too liquid when I'm done so I want it I want to just have enough and I'm going to put the cover on this and let these vegetables cook for a bit before I start adding my seasonings and everything else. Okay, I put the lid on, I'm gonna let it cook for a bit, but I thought I would tell you about my vegetable broth while I have it. See, right there. I make my own vegetable broth. It's a huge money saver. It doesn't take any time at all. Um, and this is what I do. When I cut up my vegetables, like I just cut up celery and carrots and onion, um, wash them ahead of time, and I save all of the ends and pieces. So the onions, I save the onion skins and I save the carrot tops and the celery tops and I put it all in my freezer. Bell peppers, um, whatever I'm using, squash, um, wash it before you peel it and chop it up and then save all those bits and pieces. Mushrooms, whatever I don't use of the mushrooms, put it in the freezer and then when I need broth, I take my Kitchen Ninja, or you can use an Instapot, or whatever kind of pressure cooker you have. Um, before I got a pressure cooker, I did it in my slow cooker, so you can do that. But I just put a gallon size bag full into a seven quart, whatever, or an eight quart, whatever um, you have, and then fill it up with water. And then for the pressure cooker, I just put the lid on, put it on high for two to two and a half hours, and I let it go. And then once it's done and it has cooled, um, I strain it out, I put it in my gallon jar and I put it into the refrigerator. If you use a slow cooker, what I would do with my slow cooker is I would do the same thing. I would put a gallon Ziploc bag of frozen ends and pieces into the, the slow cooker. I would fill it up with water and then I would just let it slow cook all day and then once it is cooled I strain it put it into my gallon jar put it in the refrigerator and then I have it for soups and stews and things like that and it'll last for a week week and a half um, but you will find that you will use it all the time and so long before you before it would ever go bad um, you're needing to make a new batch so that's what I do for vegetable broth you know you can save yourself a ton of money on organic vegetable broth um, buying it one quart at a time to just make up a gallon or however much you know at a time and save money save time you know what's in it so you know it's good for you um, yeah and that's what I do now I'm gonna let these vegetables cook for my bolognese sauce for a little bit and I will bring you back when I'm ready all right I am back and I'm gonna take a look at my vegetables here and they're nice and cooked and I use the whole cup of broth. But I'm telling you, it's just because I'm multitasking and I almost let it go dry. So I'm gonna add another cup before I go on here. And I'm gonna show you. Okay, here are my seasonings. What I have in here are two tablespoons of oregano, two tablespoons of basil, a half a tablespoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper and that's what I'm going to add to my veggies. I have rinsed and drained a cup and a quarter of lentils. I'm going to add that in here and I'm going to stir it all up. I'm sorry about my dogs in the background. They go crazy. 
And I am going to keep adding vegetable broth one cup at a time until my lentils are nice and soft and cooked. I don't want too much broth, but I don't want too little either. So I'm going to go ahead and, ahead and add another cup now, and then I'm just going to keep my eye on it until the lentils are done. So this is what my sauce looks like right now. I'm going to let the lentils are not quite all cooked yet, so I'm going to let them cook. And I bet that takes up the rest of my liquid. What I added was a quart of the vegetable broth, so four cups. I probably could have added just three and a half, but four is what I added, so I'm going to let it cook down until it's almost dry. Now what else I'm going to do is make a cashew sauce to go in here. Um, this is three quarters cup of cashews that I soaked overnight. Um, if you don't have the time to soak them, what I sometimes do is just cover them with water and pop them in the microwave for a minute and let it sit about five minutes, and that works as well. To that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce and just about a teaspoon of vinegar. And then I am going to blend this on high. Normally, to make a cashew sauce, what I do is add some salt, pepper, I'll put in some garlic powder, I'll put in maybe some onion powder or some miso. Um, to give it more flavor, but for this I have already added garlic powder and I've got onions in my broth So this is all I'm going to do for this cashew sauce um, And it's wonderful and what I do is add a jar of spaghetti sauce. Just make sure you look at the ingredients I add my cashew sauce and that's it um, I serve it up and I will show you what it looks like when I'm all done and have my spaghetti ready and we're ready to go. So, all right, so this is my sauce done. Sorry, fog up the screen there. So this is my sauce completed. You can see the carrots and the celery and the onion and the lentils. I added a jar, like I said, of my favorite sauce. And then I added the blended up cashew sauce and that's what it comes out with. And it just smells amazing. And my family loves it. And here's my dish right here. So I can't wait to dig in. And, and I hope you all enjoyed it. It has been a crazy day. And let me tell you, V, I cannot wait to be cooking with you because doing this yourself is really a challenge. But I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy the bolognese sauce, um, it is a crowd pleaser. So make sure you like us on all our platforms where Kindred Vegans on Facebook um, and K Vegans on Instagram and we post all of our meals there. Um, and we like to engage with people, so make sure you leave a comment down below. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when our videos are gonna be uploaded. And I will see everybody later. Bye now.